in the late 2000s, you already know, last decade was all about 80s nostalgia. There's always a 20 year lag. I remember that there were a lot of movies in the 1970s dedicated to 50s nostalgia, so that lag has persisted. But in the late 2000s, I was always looking forward to this decade because I knew 90s nostalgia would happen. And I wanted that. I was expecting that we would get a bunch of grunge fans. Guys that loved really badass movies and all the works. But what I found was that 90s and Soldier came, and with it, the worst kind of 90s love happened. Love for shows from the Disney Channel, love for chick flicks, midriff shirts, Spice Girls, and boy bands. Not my grungy rock music, unless it's Nirvana or Pearl Jam or all this pleb tier grunge. So pleb tier that it made someone kill himself. <laughs> uh, you got that reference, boy. But seriously. The 90s nostalgia sucks. Because all of you guys love the worst parts of the 90s. <clears throat> and for those of you that actually like the rock from the 90s, it's usually the pretentious stuff like Coldplay, Radiohead, um, Depeche Mode, fucking Oasis. Those British bands that that new wave shit that I don't really like at all. I can't stand it. At this point, I'll settle for ska punk because I actually like ska punk in small doses. And you can thank that, you can give thanks to Gran Turismo 3 for that. That cover of 99 Red Balloons was actually pretty good from that ska punk band. But... Yeah, you guys like the worst parts of the 90s. You don't like any of the edgy shit. Just like the sweet stuff, and... Ironically, you... <laughs> you think what you like is edgy. People think that fucking New Kids on the Block is edgy. You are a fucking pussy. Damn, like... I was expecting a bunch of Alice in Chains fans to come out. Because I'm a big Alice in Chains fan. It's my favorite band. And I can't go five minutes without talking about how it's my favorite band. And yet, that's not what happened. Instead, those Alice in Chains fans I was expecting were Backstreet Boy fans or NSYNC fans. Despite the fact that the only member they know is Justin Timberlake. The guy with the weird R&B voice. Not even like that Mark Chavez guy or Lance Bass. Or Britney Spears' gay bestie. Or the guy that ended up becoming the shiny teeth and me guy. Or Chip Skylark. Third. The guy that became that character from Fairly Odd Parents. Or not even Joey Fatone guy that was in one season of Family Feud hosting it. The only guy to host Family Feud. No, the opening announcer, I mean. That's what I meant. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not an NSYNC fan. I know all the members to some extent. But shit. You guys are some of the worst 90s fans. I am so disappointed. I was looking forward to 90s kids coming out of their shells or their caves. But then again, looking back, people that like stuff from the 80s didn't like any of the good stuff either. Which makes me think that 
nostalgia is for the most superficial stuff because nerd culture became popular and then when it became popular it became plebeian is all hell and so nothing cool ever gets a nostalgia buzz that becomes glamorous like when I think of 80s kids I don't think of the guys that were fucking with Blade Runner cause those neck beards they knew what was up anyways Mr. Wonka 7 hope you enjoyed this video I'm done